Um, I'm just having a uh, <clears throat> memory, I suppose they call it. Um, when um, Jason was first in the police academy, um, uh, he, we would, um, <clears throat> we would go um, out on the, the weekend with some couples uh, to get to know them. And uh, this one evening, we were in someone's kitchen um, and we were having a few drinks and Jason was there and there was a couple of people that I, I couldn't even tell you what their names were. I'm not, again, I'm not good with names. And this was 2002, 2001, 2002. And um, when we were in the kitchen, um, one of the uh, girls said that her husband uh, or her fiance or whatever, her boyfriend, was... Um, and I think it was the National Guard before he entered the, the training program for the police. And I said, okay. Like, I didn't understand where she was going with this. Um, and I said, I, I apologize. I don't know what that means to you. I, like, I don't understand where you're going with that. And she goes, no. She goes, that's the thing. He said, he really wants to talk to you. Um, but there's something going on where he's not allowed to approach you directly. And I'm like, uh, again, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I was like, but... If you'd like to talk to me, sure, that's fine. And so um, then he came over and then uh, he wanted to know, um, apparently in the training, something had come up about um, Homeland had come in because of 9-11 uh, and there were two trainers there. Um, and then he's like, like, I don't know even how to talk to you, like this you. He's like, because there's another you. He's like, I mean, he's like, I, and they, the other you is not sure, he's pretty sure that this you, married to Jason, knows nothing. And I'm like, well, that's a good assumption. I was like, because I'm, I'm following along, I'm trying to, but I'm, I'm just be quiet and I'll just listen at this point so you can paint me a portrait. I was like, you know, build me a picture or something. I was like, where you're going with this? And he's like, well, have you ever heard of, like, the MIB? And I'm like, no. I was like, what is that? He's like, yeah, that's the thing. None of us really know. But the other lookalike you is part of it with one of your kids. But it's your future kids, which is why nobody really knows about it very much. And you are totally stuck. You're like, you're not supposed to be married to Jay. And they were kind of intimating that, 9-11 may have happened because of something to do with that and his old employer. And I'm like, uh-huh, okay. And he's like, well, see, like, the thing is, is that you're, like, stuck and, and you're not supposed to be, but how do you tell someone, I mean, I have to work with him, so, like, I, where's the line on you shouldn't be with him? Like, do you think you should be with him? I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the fifth on that one. Um... And then Jay was like, wait, what? He's like, what are you two talking about? He's like, wait a minute, why am I? He's like, what do you, what do you want, my wife all of a sudden? And I was like, uh, no. But, um, so there's that. And now, now I'm remembering that Jay knew about it. Um, something about some really hot trainer that came in. They were all laughing about it. Um, and then, um... I mean, now, when Benjamin came out, uh, 2000, 1999, growing up, he had emo, E-M-O, uh, I think E-M-O or E-M-O-S for the operating system for his gen, um, G-E-N-E. -E. Um, I had in mine, it was goth, G-O-T-H, for the Planck's constant, uh, the go Planck's constant, and uh, there was another one. It was, oh, well, I was referred to as the 90s chick in my MO and the opera in the OS. So it was the the nine was the zero because it was from the MIB black transport down for the one world. Uh, and then it was just, it was chick because it was, you know, the chicken with uh, the tar, the cat tar. Um, which was goth, which goes back to the Baroque, B-A-R, and 
that I think it's Q U E in like um not Roma it might be Romania, but it more in um thinking like Ukraine um uh like Ukraine area I'm trying to think what's the north and to the south I had the map I had it could I had it mapped out now I forgot it again um it's like a blinking light system it's it, like the wires in this atmosphere just don't work in New York and this was the other thing is that I documented on special program phone um with Judy in her kitchen when I was little um that series of phone dash that um, for and at that point it was for Nibiru, which is uh, it, it's N I for Nicole and Niklaus, and then it's Beer, B I R U. I mean, we're the kingdom of Rus. So, I mean, but uh, let me think about this. Uh, so, we did the oh, and then uh, Antonin. Alexander falls under Benjamin's emu, uh, but then uh, Antonin, which is 2012, he's Amos, A-M-O-S, um, that's the E and the A for the East Atlantic uh, timing piece in, in Fraga and, and Sprig. Um, let's think about this. Oh, and that was the other thing. Um, I'm like, they're like, well, can you, like, explain, like, what does your living conditions, like, look like and feel like uh, in this chunky Buddha whatever position? And I'm like, it feels like, do you have birds? Because oh, Judy had, like, a little Tweety bird in a cage. I was like, she keeps her bird very clean. It feels like a bird that's been left in a cage for a long time and there's been neglect and nobody's come to clean out the cage. So it smells, it's dirt everywhere you look, it's just like, ugh, you don't even want to open your eyes. That's what New York 1978 to year 2020 feels like. Every day, I don't want to open my eyes. I do not want to be here. I don't want to see whatever's around. I don't give a shit. I want to collect my children and I want to go back to Vlad and Svetlana, Happy Land, and Superman places, and I want to get the fuck out of New York. That's been, like, my M.O. every day. I stay quiet, and I wait for transport. And yet, there's a neutrality zone around where I am. We had, from Nibiru to Earthling, we had a neutrality uh, treaty that at any point they would send said ship they would beam said light around the neutrality zone. They would zap me up and out. And nobody would know any better and nobody would miss me. 42 years, I'm still waiting. What, what is the purpose of leaving me here other than to torture me completely? <laughs>